Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Bound News Network. We're actually tracking uh, our weather here for um, the 5th of May, and here we are in the first week of May, and we're having some really severe thunderstorm activity in the region of Alabama and Mississippi. And um, before we actually get into this forecast, if you're new to this channel, by all means, why not just go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe. We bring daily breakdowns of the weather to you directly, and uh, we also evaluate um, in great depth um, very, very se severe weather. That is what we specialize in, is taking a closer look at very, very severe weather as it makes its way through the continental United States as well as the Caribbean. And also for the month of May, we're very happy to announce that we are offering a special five night Cancun vacation certificate to any of our subscribers who may be interested. Uh, in order to qualify, um, at some point in this forecast, um, you will actually see a code that will flash once you capture that code and just follow the instructions to fill out the claim form on our website, we will send it to you. It's that simple. And you just simply redeem your Cancun certificate. I'm sure that any, all of you would agree that after the events of uh, the last few months that we all need a vacation. So definitely we wanted to extend this offer um, to our subscribers. So anyway, um, here we are taking a closer look at uh, severe thunderstorms in the, along the Alabama, um, Alabama, Florida uh, panhandle uh, here, and we see uh, this very, very extreme um, uh, weather in this region. What's actually happening is that there's a there's a mid-level trough in this region, and that's a, a pocket of high pressure, and that's actually ha having an influence on. Um, a, 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 basically a convergence of air from a um, very, very warm air into a zone that is um, a very moist air. And with that said, also keep in mind uh, the warm convection of, of the air from the Gulf of Mexico being pulled into uh, these, uh, these uh, coast, Gulf Coast states is basically um, for helping to develop very, very severe um, thunderstorm activity. Um, we also anticipate that there's going to be additional thunderstorm activity in the range of central Oklahoma. Um, we are looking at um, areas of uh, Oklahoma City, Norman, Oklahoma, Midwest City, uh, Edmond, Oklahoma, as far as um, being advised for severe thunderstorm activity. Um, basically, we're uh, going into today and tomorrow uh, residents of Florida need to be aware of possible flat flushing, uh, flat, uh, flash flooding risk as um, there's going to be severe thunderstorms along the Atlantic, Atlantic coast, the east coast of Florida running down from Jacksonville all the way down to, uh, to, down to Miami. And uh, we're actually seeing quite a bit of moist uh, air mass in the region, very, very low dew points. And also we're going to take a closer look at the temperature. So before we actually get a little bit more deeper into this forecast, let's go ahead and load our cuboid. And our cuboid today is going to take a look at, of course, our forecast for the GOES-16 satellite imagery. We're also taking a closer look at uh, storm prediction center alerts as well as the temperature, as well as the dew points, as well as the precipitation. We'll actually show you the high pressure uh, zone that's actually influencing this storm. Uh, uh, basically uh, clusters of storms in the region and as you can see uh, we have on guard for North Florida also southern Georgia do keep in mind that this entire area is just completely um, very very saturated soil right now so any kind of additional thunderstorm activity in the region of of uh, Mississippi and Alabama and Georgia um, even into the into the lower Missis, uh, the lower Mississippi Valley um, Tennessee Valley area uh, we're talking about a significant fl uh, flash flood risk so that is actually what we're actually speculating and forecasting for the next 24 hours but at this particular time going going into Wednesday uh, Wednesday and Thursday we anticipate um, heavy showers along the Atlantic uh, Atlantic coast of Florida 
and Floridians should prepare for severe thunderstorms and you know, possibly even um, you know a lot of times with these severe thunderstorms uh, we'll see videos online of water spouts offshore and it, it wouldn't be on it wouldn't be unlikely that that may be a situation um, going into the next 24 to 48 hours along the coast of Florida uh, if we actually take a closer look at um, um, uh, advisories at this time we see that um, we have advisories for the North Florida section and then of course we have severe thunderstorm watch um, additional thunderstorms all the way down to Miami from Jacksonville to Miami uh, we do see here that there is going to be um, there is a marginal risk for uh, regions of uh, western Oklahoma northern Texas also uh, uh, western Nebraska eastern Colorado region and also for Washington DC uh, Virginia Beach and also Raleigh North Carolina um, should anticipate additional storm activity so we're basically looking at three zones that are a possibility um, for a marginal um, risk um, which is severe thunderstorms with damaging winds as well as hail um, also if we take a closer look at um, our temperatures Temperatures are very, very important because they can actually indicate to you actually um, when it comes to the convergence of very, very moist air along with other um, weather subtleties, what may happen in the region. And we can actually see a clear definitive line uh, between uh, temperature uh, gradients here. We see on this, on the left side of this, uh, this system, uh, we see temperatures in the low 60s, whereas on the other side, um, as this uh, trough actually moves down further into the south, uh, southeast and takes a grip on the southeast, we see temperatures in Georgia and South Carolina in the uh, mid 70s to low 80s. Take a look at Florida. Florida is really, really getting really high. At Daytona Beach, 95 degrees, and we're talking about humidity ranges somewhere between 47 and 48 percent humidity. So there's very, very, very moist air mass there, and we anticipate that this is going to be um really, really dry. And of course, this entire region is under a drought monitor. Um, some areas, especially southern New Mexico, um, Arizona, as well as California, are in extreme drought. So we see the temperatures actually warming. One thing I wanted to definitely, definitely point out to our subscribers, if you remember, is that um, I, we did highlight the fact that with um, hurricanes starting, hurricanes generally start once the um, surface sea temperatures get to 80 degrees or higher. And lo and behold, we're actually seeing those temperatures actually creeping up into the Gulf of Mexico. So um, the, the hurricane season um, is only going to be starting in a matter of a few weeks. So uh, we are anticipating a very, very active hurricane season. And we anticipate that they're going to be, um, that the um, NOAA has actually increased their optimization or their, their forecast um, for additional storms based on uh, a, pre, uh, a more active uh, range. So they anticipate far more storms going into uh, for the 2021 season. Um, as far as taking a closer look at um, our dew points, we see definitely the southeast is very, very saturated. You can just take a look along the Atlantic coast. Uh, dew points are in the mid 60s, upper um, the upper 60s, and keep in mind as as that system makes its way across into uh, uh, North Florida, uh, this is going to be additional storm activity for Central Florida, the Orlando region, uh, Daytona Beach, Jacksonville should anticipate heavy heavy storms in the next 24 hours, in addition to West Palm Beach. Um, Miami Hollywood region so we anticipate that there's going to be quite a bit of ex um, additional um, storm activity for the region um, for uh, Florida as well as southern Georgia also we're taking a closer look at um, our precipitation model you can actually see that clear uh, defined um, trough uh, and actually this will actually this system this trough will actually make its way further into the southeast influencing the weather along the Atlantic coast 
of Florida, and we're going to keep an eye on uh, also the weather here in, um, se um, in central Oklahoma, as well as, as you can see, um, a low pressure system off the northeast coast, which is influencing additional rainfall in the northeast, and that's why they issued an advisory for uh, cities such as Washington, D.C. And, and Raleigh, North Carolina. So that is actually um, our review of the, the weather for, uh, for today. Um, we do anticipate that um, um, with, additional, uh, with additional storm activity, uh, we do see that there's going to be um, additional storms possibly in the Oklahoma area, Florida area, and of course, we're watching the drought, um, the drought monitor here in the southeast. But um, we do appreciate you subscribing to Bow News Network, and also always remember to bow to the weather. And we thank you so much for um, um, tuning in to our, our forecast here for for today, and have a great day.